It's a study called Business as an Agent of World Benefit. What does it look like? Where is it happening? What are the dynamics? What are the enablers? And it's a perfect example of this third level of positive institutions that refract our highest human strengths out into society. So we're studying business as a force for peace in high conflict zones, business as a force for the eradication of extreme poverty, business as a force for eco-imagination and innovation and so on. Um, and let me, I'll, I'll just share with you one of the stories. We've gathered over 2,000 interviews, um, but I'll, I'll, I'll share with you one of the stories, and I'd like you to use the lens of VIA to analyze this story. You know, um, when you think of the VIA strengths, um, when you think of wisdom, courage, transcendence, um, beauty, um, justice, and so on, think of these strengths. But this was an amazing, um, you know, every time, I, every time I do an interview and in this whole study on business as an agent of world benefit, my sense of hope about our world goes up. And so many of these stories aren't out there. Um, and I'll come back to the bigger picture of the whole sustainability revolution that I see happening in business. Um, but this particular story um, was one of my favorites. It's on business as a force for peace. So I was in... Um, Israel not long ago and um, I was there to give a, a speech, a dedication for a new business school, um, new business school building, the Harrison School of Business. And um, on my way I stopped in Amman, Jordan. Um, this was at the height of the tensions, you know, um, and I met with the former Prime Minister Majali and we're talking um, I was sharing with him um, my study of business and sustainability and eradication of extreme poverty and so on. As I left, um, you could just feel the tensions in the world, honestly, you know, you could in every cell of your body. In fact, that evening on the evening news, there was an, an account of a terrorist plot intended to um, let go of a biological weapon intended to kill 150,000 people. So you're right in the middle of that tensions. Um, so I decided to change my speech. Um, so when I went to Israel the next day, I um, had never spoken on this topic, but I decided to speak on the topic of business as a force for peace. So um, in the talk, I raised the question, where's the peace going to come from? You know, I don't think it's going to come from the military. I don't think it's going to come from our paralyzed governments. I don't think it's going to come from our lawyers and so on and so on. I said, could it be that business could be the most important force for peace in this part of the world? Um, honestly, I didn't have a lot of data. Um, I didn't, I'd never spoken on this topic, but I did share some thoughts and some logic behind it. Afterwards, at the reception, um, uh, 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 but a, well, it turns out he's an 81-year-old, 81-year-old man taps me on the shoulder and he says, David, um, I'd like to introduce myself and I just want to say, this was at the wine reception right after the speech, he said, I agreed with every point in your speech and hey, I was wondering, could you beat me, meet me by my helicopter tomorrow morning at 8 in the morning? And I said, um, what are you talking about? What's the, what's, you know, I said, sure, I'll be there. Um, and I, I showed up at 8, and um, this man, his name is Steph Wertheimer, and he took me up in the helicopter and began to tell the story of this miracle in Teffen region. And, um, you know, it was a splendid day. We go up in the helicopter, um, you know, the Mediterranean is sparkling over here, and you go through various regions, many, much desert, and, you know, no natural resources of any kind. All of a sudden, you see this beautiful, um, um, huge residential arena area, um, beautiful homes, museums, art centers, recreation centers, parks, um, and at the heart of this whole community is um, an entrepreneurship center that gives birth to new businesses. Well, it turns out that has given birth to over 300 new businesses in the last 10 years, now accounts for 10% of Israel's export GNP. So it's very solid business. Again, um, giving birth to over 300 businesses accounts for 10% of it, uh, Israel's export GNP. Steph starts taking me through this whole campus and this beautiful arena, and then he starts telling me the whole story, and it's based uh, and it's ever since he started it, some years back in the 1940s. Um, 
Um, it's been all based on coexistence, um, Arab and Jewish co-ownership of the businesses, co-ownership of the schools, co-ownership and uh, of the um, art centers, and on and on and on. And here I am in this part of the world where the news and the media tells us it's intractable, the hatred, the bitterness, the animosity, the hurt, the anger, um, that, it's, that it's intractable. And I tell you, I, I had shivers up and down my spine as I went into meetings and the, the, into the various businesses. I went into a classroom of 10-year-old children and um, these 10-year-old children, Arab and Jewish, holding hands, singing songs, looking at big cartoon characters on a big computer screen about an entrepreneur taking a visionary business idea into the field of practice and reality. Anyway, so I asked Steph, um, I, I said, what is your vision? And, and he, he, he told me his vision. He looked at the economic empowerment that was happening, the equity, the respect, um, the love, the sharing, and so on. And um, his vision is a big one. Um, he sees the opportunity for almost like a Marshall Plan for the Middle East. Um, his focus is on the non-oil producing Middle East, where he argues that if we had um, an industrial incubator like this for every million people, that gone would be the seeds of terror and, and, and the core causes of terror. Um, anyway, very interesting. Um, and I, I share that story with you, um, and hopefully as you were listening, you were thinking through the lens of VIA and the human strengths that are involved there, because I think this is a perfect example of, 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 of these three levels of the strengths revolution, the elevation of human strengths, the combination and connection of human strengths, and then the refraction of our higher human strengths out into society. That is, institutions and businesses are vehicles of more love in the world, more courage, more hope, more justice, and so on.